From a freak avalanche in Nepal that caught one guitar-playing local completely off guard, and some glowing water on Venice Beach that you might not want to swim in, to a mysterious ring over Beijing, China that looked like an alien invasion, and a storm chaser in Iowa who caught the moment when lightning struck his friend's car. Here are the craziest one in a million moments caught on camera. The Van Dusen is a 63-mile tributary of the Greater Eel River in Northern California. It's a popular spot for camping, swimming, and picnicking. It's also great if you're just going for a walk. On March 14th of 2023, Maureen Smithy and her husband went out for what she calls a wet morning walk along the Van Dusen. Judging by their knee-high boots, they probably planned on getting a little wet. What they weren't expecting was a freak tsunami to wash ashore. Tsunamis are all about water displacement. When something big falls in the river, all that water has to go somewhere. This creates a tsunami wave that can have dire consequences at scale. Thankfully, the Smithies remembered their knee highs that morning. They noticed debris falling off the cliff and stuck around to see how stable it was. That cliff happened to be above Maureen's favorite summertime swimming holes. You could say she had a vested interest in its stability. Thankfully, nobody was swimming in the river when the cliff finally fell. Have you ever seen a natural ice ball? It's a rare phenomenon that usually happens on the beach. These hikers found them in a cave in British Columbia. On February 25th of 2023, while hiking near Hope, British Columbia, two TikTokers stumbled upon a cave full of giant, perfectly shaped ice balls. Ice balls, sometimes called ice eggs, usually form in the ocean. They occur when temperatures drop slightly below freezing near the shallow, sloping part of the beachhead. The tide creates a rocking motion that causes ice slush to collect and smoothen into a ball shape. And we can assume the same thing occurs with this melting waterfall. The constant running water smoothens the ice, and they eventually break into balls. Our planet is full of really cool stuff. Sometimes, it's hard to believe. Have you ever seen the beach glow bright blue before? Well, if you have, you are probably walking or swimming in bioluminescent algae. Venice beaches reopened on the California coast after closing during COVID lockdowns. On May 7th of 2020, a YouTuber named Lewis Cole heard his local beach was glowing bright blue. He hustled down to see what was happening. What he found reminded him of Avatar. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, yes. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, dude, you're glowing so much. So much. Now, don't worry, they're not swimming in radioactive water. Bioluminescent algae are glowing, single-celled organisms that live on the water's surface. When they're disturbed, they emit a bright bluish-green light. 
but don't go swimming in them so quickly. According to WebMD, many bioluminescent algae species are toxic. They can poison fish swimming around in them and can harm humans too. Some species aren't that poisonous, but still have harmful side effects. There's also evidence that bioluminescent algae indicates pollution, global warming, or environmental change. Those changes can cause high nitrogen and phosphorus levels in the water, leading to what's called red tide during the day. On April 12th of 2022, a low-pressure system over the central U.S. produced 10 tornadoes in Iowa. One of those storms, an EF2 twister near Gilmore City, attracted storm chaser and YouTuber Christopher Risk and his friends. They drove out to Gilmore, a small town of about 500 people in northern Iowa. The storm touched down at 6.18 p.m. It tracked a 7.5-mile path before dissipating 13 minutes later. Tornadoes don't travel alone. They usually spawn from powerful thunderstorms. While trying to get the perfect shot, Chris captured the one-in-a-million moment. Oh my god! Oh my god! Blink and you'll miss it, even at one-fifth speed. Keep your eyes on the Toyota Prius on the left. According to Chris, the lightning bolt struck the roof and left the car immobilized. Thankfully, nobody inside got hurt. If the windows are shut, your car's metal shell will protect you during a lightning storm. The bolt will likely hit the antenna or roof, travel through the frame, and enter the ground through the tires. However, the superheated jolt can damage the car's electrical system, rendering it useless. Now, we'd be in big trouble if planes weren't designed to withstand lightning strikes. It might sound terrifying, but we promise commercial planes are built to deal with lightning. Still, it's probably not fun to witness, whether in the plane or on the ground. On April 29th of 2016, not one, but two planes were struck by lightning on their way to Heathrow Airport in London. A local man was filming the stormy sky when one of those planes flew overhead. Little did he know, he was about to capture something incredible. Oh. He was either recording in Iceland Air or a British Airways plane. Both were struck by lightning as they passed over London. According to a spokesperson for British Airways, lightning strikes are pretty common and planes are designed to cope with them. Both crafts were inspected upon making a safe landing. So how often do planes get hit by lightning? Captain Sully Sullenberger, the pilot famous for landing the plane in the Hudson River, says every professional pilot has been hit by lightning at least once. In fact, every single plane in operation gets struck by lightning at least once per year. If you're looking for fantastic scenery, isolated nature, and as few humans as possible, look no further than the hiking trails of Capuchi Glacier Lake in Kaski, Nepal. At about 8,350 feet above sea level, it's actually the lowest glacial lake in Nepal. Sorry folks, you'll still need to hike up there. One guitar-playing man named Shambu made the venture on January 11th of 2021. The scene was perfect. He'd set up his camera and play a few jams in front of the lake. But as soon as he sat down, he heard rumbling on the snow-capped mountains behind him. Kiran! 
Saatte futbolu zannede görüyorum ben. Wow. Wow. Talk about one in a million, right? What are the odds of an avalanche happening as soon as he sits down? He must have played some pretty crunchy power chords. As beautiful as the scene is, a massive avalanche is still headed right for them. Shambu makes the smart decision. Get to the high ground and keep recording. You boy no ever. Mati o mati. Kendi bu ne? Wow. Remember experience. What you don't see in this video are the people camping around the lake's perimeter. When the avalanche finally crashed, it released a powerful air blast that nearly blew their tents away. Our friend in the kayak was part of this camping group. Thankfully, that air blast wasn't enough to cause any damage. In fact, everyone had a great time standing in its path. The Denmark Strait is the body of water between Greenland and Iceland. As you can imagine, it's pretty cold up there, making the strait a popular destination for glacier enthusiasts. If that doesn't sound exciting, just wait until one of them falls into the ocean and disappears before your very eyes. A tour group got what they paid for as they passed a crumbling iceberg on the open water. Bit by bit, chunks of ice fell into the ocean, and before they knew it, the whole thing was gone. You can see the splash as the first chunk falls behind the iceberg. Then, another piece falls off the right side, causing it to lose a little structural integrity. Finally, a massive sheet slides off the front side, and a woman on board can't believe what she's seeing. The near side rises out of the water, as the back is much heavier. It eventually flips over before sinking like the Titanic. Beijing is the capital of China and home to an estimated 25 million people. Two important events happened in Beijing in March of 2022. The Paralympic Winter Games and a possible alien invasion. On March 11th of 2022, all 25 million people looked up and saw the same bright circle in the sky. Was this it? Were the aliens finally here? Or was there a perfectly reasonable and scientific explanation? Now, before you get excited, no, there were no aliens over China that night. What you're looking at is called the Tyndall effect. It's when light scatters through a heterogeneous mixture like a colloid or suspension, but not a homogeneous mixture like still water or oil. In simple terms, it's what happens when your headlights pass through the fog. 
You can see the light when it passes through particles in the air, such as water vapor in the fog. This light ring came from closing ceremony rehearsals during the 2022 Paralympic Winter Games. You can't see the lights in the air, but when they pass through the clouds, the ring shows up. Or maybe that's just what they want us to think. Mission Peak is the best place in California to watch the moon rise. The mountain rises about 2,500 feet above Fremont and Ohlone College. From the top, you can look south for a gorgeous view of San Francisco Bay. Hikers and Instagrammers make the summer trek to get rare shots of the rising moon. At the right angle, from the right vantage point, you can make the moon look massive as it rises over the night sky. In October of 2018, this is precisely what these people did. Our hikers strike a pose as the moon crests over Mission Peak. We imagine the camera is pretty far away and ultra-zoomed in, making the moon look bigger than it really is. If you didn't know any better, you might think these people were part of some moon cult. Apparently, the moon gets so bright over the Mission Peak Regional Preserve that you don't even need a flashlight. There is, however, a strict 10 p.m. curfew. If you're not out of the park in time, you could be slapped with a $300 fine. But most people are willing to risk it for the gram. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.